this update changed a lot of stuff, starting from how strong your frame are, how effective your abilities are, how survivable you are, how tough enemies are, and pretty much started a new era for the Warframe. Let's start with the accuracy. Enemies have far lower accuracy, making their DPS and high ends much less. I would say roughly 50% less damage, but don't quote me on that. Self damage is gone. Weapons with prior self damage cause knockbacks. The smaller the effect, or the further you are from the effect, but still in the effect range, the less knockback you will get. For example, Juge can only do this effect, while well, Ogres can do this. And it kinda should depend on how far you are from the effect, but at the moment it doesn't for some reason. Enemies have less armor, making crit slash and high base damage weaponry far stronger meaning almost every single melee weapon we have in the game is even more broken and overpowered compared to the primary and secondaries new status changes first off corrosive corrosive can no longer put more than 10 procs on a target and the procs are not permanent so it means two things one you cannot overstrip two the weapons with a high fire rate and a lot of status chance are getting a nerf for some reason. This 10 proc cap is a pretty good system. I like it, but it kind of hurts the high fire rate and like my beloved Phantasma's primary fire, it's barely comparable to other stuff. It's just as good as it was, it's not any worse, but everything else is just better now. Weapons with low to mid status chance are far far stronger now. A perfect example of this is Corn, which is... Yeah, it's pretty stupid broken. Shotguns are no longer capable of doing proc on every pellet. Instead, we have much higher status chance per pellet for them. This on itself doesn't make shotguns bad, it just makes them balanced. If your shotgun had decent base damage, it's a-okay. And if it used to be low status high base or crit, it's pretty strong now. Weapons like Fulman, Exceltra, Arcoplasmor, Ignis Wraith used to be pretty popular, they're gonna be even more popular now. For example, Fulman got the nerf, Arcoplasmor was supposed to get a nerf, didn't get a nerf. With these changes, I'm afraid, I'm really afraid for future because these are very, very possibly gonna get nerfed. I hope not, but I can't really say they won't because Catch Moon got nerfed. And that thing was barely comparable to what these guys can do now. Like, when I say barely, I mean, like, not at all. Synapse is freaking awesome now. Basically, an instant death for enemies. Batacore, Optical Vandal, Straight of Our Prime, Catch Moon, Tomb Finger, and many others are far stronger in high levels now, just because of the less armor and the new status. Shield Gating. Shield Gating gives you, I think, it's two seconds of invulnerability whenever your shields run out after being maxed meaning you hit max and then you get shot till you have no shield then you're gonna get a 2 second invulnerability but only if you hit max though if you use your shield gate and got a little bit of shields back and then got hit again it will only protect you against a single hit for example Limbo, Octavia, Loki, Vora that had the one hit KO problem no longer have such problem this gives any Warframe with the ability to max their shield in under 2 seconds a huge boost in survivability, namely Mag, Hildren, Equinox, Volt with the Capacitance Augment. But there's more. Tenno shields have 25% built-in damage reduction now, so any frame that can apply any sort of damage reduction to their shields can make their shields very effective for survivability, like Gauss for example. From this whole shield gating thing, only the not getting one hit killed is applied to corpus. But instead of taking the whole damage if it would go through your shields and to your health, it only lets 5% of it pass. Unless you're scoring headshot that is, then you can bypass this ability entirely. These changes make a whole shift in the Warframe. For example, Saren that used to be the queen of the entire game, one of the most used warframes in the game, can no longer exponentially increase her damage in a short amount of time because of the corrosive proc being limited to 10. It takes her 50 seconds 
from a fresh start to kill 8 level 120 corrupted heavy goons if there is no more just 8 enemies which is not actually very bad but it's not overpowered it's balanced I would say Saren is balanced I'm pretty sure everyone will be like Saren is pretty bad now comparatively because like look at me I used to think Phantasma was great and it still is but it's not just as great that makes me sad and makes me not want to use it Warframes like Mag Volt with being pretty tanky now can easily go high levels making like Mag so good I'm so tempted to go Mag main now I assume Ashisagi is pretty happy now and that's about all I had I was planning to do a different kind of video but I didn't have the time I could took I could have taken longer but that wouldn't be a fun video now a week after the update would it Come, let me help you. Look. Pretty, isn't it? Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Too much to one side. Or the other? 